Today we're going to talk about how I take notes. I've been for a long time using a paper notebook uh, for years, pen and ink. Uh, not just any pen though. Uh, very high tech. This is the uh, LiveScribe Wi-Fi, also called the uh, Sky Pen. Uh, what this does is it recognizes a microdot pattern on the paper with a small camera right in here. And as you press and write, it picks that up, records it, and then all I have to do to uh, transfer that is go to my first page. There's a little button I can click, and a logo I can click, and that will uh, synchronize it over Wi-Fi, which is, uh, which is great. So it synchronizes out to a, a PC and then up into, in this case, I have it set to synchronize to Evernote. And as you can see here, all of my notes come in. They're all indexed. They show up as, uh, I can have it show up as images or PDFs, and Evernote does um, text recognition, so I can actually search on handwritten notes. Really works great. Well, it really used to work great, except that on my um, second now uh, Wi-Fi Sky Pen, uh, th there was a problem, so I uh, sent it back. It was, it was some sort of firmware lockup, so I sent it back in about a year ago. They sent me a refurb pen, but on the refurb pen, after um, a few months of use, the uh, display has gone out. It's an OLED display, and I always run these at um, the minimum brightness setting, 10%, just to you know, prolong that uh, life of the OLED. But their life is uh, just junk. Uh, turns out the OLEDs they were using really weren't very good, and so I contacted tech support, and it turns out, well, they're not going to sell this pen anymore, so they offered me another one. Um, but the, what they offered me was a old school one or uh, the LiveScribe 3, and I'd already had a LiveScribe 3. This is similar. It's supposed to uh, use Bluetooth and sync to an app on your phone. Now, the app might work on an iPhone, but on Android, it's crap. Uh, you have to wait a while for it to sync up so that it can start talking. And when you rec when you uh, as you're writing, sometimes it will record the strokes and sometimes it won't. Usually it won't. And sometimes when you flip to the next page to do the next page of notes, it'll start the uh, notes in a new notebook, not on a new page in the notebook. And the pen itself is pretty crappy because uh, it's slick plastic, so it'll slide in your hand, and it's also a thick pen tip versus a more fine point or medium point tip and a rubberized texture. So this is a complete, complete failure, complete miss, um, and I don't want to use it. Uh, I'll probably do a teardown unless they manage to fix up the app and make it usable. But I didn't really want to give up my uh, electronic pen recording. And what I happen to have is this. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it's another LiveScribe uh, Wi-Fi Sky Pen. It's an older one that I'd had for a while, but the battery had given out. So what can I do? But <laughs> everything's available on eBay, right? So there's a uh, new battery. Let's try uh, replacing that battery because the OLED in this used to work pretty well. So we've cleaned up most of that connection right there. Let's do the other one. There we go. You can see how that snapped right off. And I'll have to hit the other one one more time on the other side, it looks like, to finish cleaning that off. There we go. And we're free. All nice and all nice and shiny and clean. Now I have uh, reapplied the little bit of uh, cardboard as a bit of a heat shield and insulator on there. Uh, hopefully it'll stick down well enough uh, while we do the rest of this work. With the uh, battery 
in place and the charging charge controller protection circuit uh, on it. We've got it all lined up. There's a tiny little B plus symbol and now we need to turn on our fume extractor. Always a good idea to run that. Hopefully that isn't too loud. And I'm gonna try and watch this happen under my uh, mantis so that I can get a better view of it. There we go. And under the microscope it yeah looks like crap but it ought to do the job. Now let's get the negative. All right, time to do the negative terminal. And again, looks like the job's done. Now we need to put this thing back together, or maybe uh, maybe I'll give it a quick power up and see how it does. All right, so we've got it. All you do is snap your optics back in place here. Then I think I can take this, if I got all the wires tucked in the way they're supposed to be, which is... These black and white wires have to be tucked in properly. The red wire has to be tucked in here. And then I think I can slide that on like so. All right, I've got it together. Yep, the seams match up on uh, both edges. Now I've got this little ring, which has to go, I believe, this way. So like, like so. Slide the tip on. Oh, there's a couple of screws here, so I've got to put those in. But I think, let me do a quick dry run, see if any of it kind of works. So there it is. It slid on. Yeah, you can just, I can just barely see the word live scribe come up. So I think it is working. Let me finish putting it back together properly and we'll tr give it a go. Now let's snap the cover on. And it seems to work best if you get it matched up, get the seams matched up, and then slide it uh, backwards to the end plate here. And that kind of holds it in place. Put the ring on. And there's two more screws. Again, the same size uh, Torx screws to go in. All right, it's back together. We'll give it a charge and see how she does.